Hey guys, what's going on? It's Iceki95 here. Today, I'm bringing you some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay. But while this gameplay is going on, I'm going to be telling you a story because I think it'd be fun and um, better than commentating over Call of Duty. So, I'm going to be telling you a story about how my luck is awful on my birthdays. Luckily, it wasn't so bad this last two years, which is nice. I'm just hoping it stays that way. I don't want to jinx myself, but... I don't know exactly what birthdays this these occurred, but usually on my birthdays, someone always gets hurt. Mainly, I have been hurt a lot, but it's not always me, it's, which is good, I guess. But um, on my one of my youngest birthdays, like maybe five, four, around there, that age. So I did talk about this in my uh, video I'm uploading today, my Q&A video, but I want to go into depth about it because I think... I can tell the story better, and I also didn't really tell the story there. So, when I was a kid, I would have people over, like, it was my birthday, you know, I'm gonna have my friends and my family over, but mainly family. So, uh, I invited my cousin over, you know, why not? All my cousins are coming over, it's crazy. Um, so, I'm loving this, I have an alley in my backyard, like, there's an alley, and I have a gym. I have a gym in my yard, and then the alley's outside of my yard, but, you know, it's like right next to that. So what I would do is I would just go right in the alley and stuff. Like I had one of the cars that you would like sit down on and you'd push yourself. Like you would push with your legs, you know. You know what I'm talking about. Like you have the handles and like it's designed as a car. But I had like two of those. I don't remember exactly what they were because it was a really long time ago. But I was with my cousin and uh, he, I guess, we were so young. You know, it's one of those ages that you don't really know what you're doing. So, you know how there's rocks and stuff in the alleyway, you know, there's sharp rocks, there's not sharp rocks, it's just not a good place to be. We did have parents around, which is, thank God we did, but of course we're gonna, we're young, and also I did live in the city at this time, and that's dangerous. So, I was in the alleyway, he was with me, but, you know, when you're kids you don't really think about what you're doing, so he pushed me off the uh, car I had, because he wanted it, and what happened was I fell and my head went right into a rock, and the rock went into my head, and there was this blood gushing and stuff. It was, it was like, scary. Like, I don't really remember it. I remember my mom carrying me through my kitchen and blood squirting on stuff, and it was bad. And I remember people freaking out. I remember that much. Which is, it's weird, because, like, I don't remember the pain. Well, I don't know. That's, it was a long time ago, so it's kind of hard to know if you do remember the pain. But anyways... So yeah, that happened, and it was crazy, so I went to the hospital, you know, as fast as I could. My mom and dad took care of me. Um, so I got in there. They had to um, glue my head back together because um, that was the easiest way of doing it. So they did, they did that. Um, yeah, thank God uh, nothing's wrong with me to this day. I'm very fortunate that nothing, like, the rock wasn't big enough to actually give me brain damage or something because that is totally possible, and that would have sucked majorly. But, yeah, that happened. It was pretty crazy, though, thinking back, like, that actually happened. And my mom always, like, when I was a kid, always told me I had a rock in my head still as, like, a joke, you know? Which is something that, I don't know, I feel like I'll remember that forever because it's just one of those things that happened in your childhood that it will, like, be a memory. And it's also, like, something we joked around about a lot, which is kind of nice to joke around about. Yeah, like, my parents don't, like, they didn't make fun of me. It took a long time. Like, it took a long time to joke about it. But whenever I got older, we joked about it, and... It was awesome. I love how we do that because it just makes the situation much like better. If we never talked about it, it just would have been the day I got a rock in my head. That instead of when we do talk about it and like joke around about it, it just I don't know. It makes it make me remember that it was like my birthday and stuff. It was just a happy day. I don't know. It wasn't a happy day, but you know what I mean. It's a good memory, but bad at the same time. It's kind of confusing, but I don't know how to explain it really. <laughs> It's like bad and good, you know, but anyways, I'm going to get off that subject before I embarrass myself some more. So to, on to the next story. Hey guys, um, sorry if you hear an audio difference. Um, I had a lot of interruptions and also I messed up a couple times, but mainly interruptions. Like, so my mom got home, all my dogs were barking, which ruined it completely. And then my dog decided to come in my room and I didn't really know she was in here. And she started whining in the middle, like I was done pretty much. And she started whining near the end and it messed me up and I got like not i got off concentration and so i just messed all that up i was really mad but we're fine we're back in this we have a great story to tell you this time i'm not messing up we're good so every year 
my family would go down to the lake and it we would go down there to celebrate my birthday and my cousin Nick's birthday. We'd celebrate them at the same time. It was great. Um I never had like a problem with that. At first I thought I might have had a problem with it, but then I didn't. I know I, I was always close to my cousin Nick, so it was kind of it was awesome seeing each other. It was awesome seeing the family. It's something that I'll always remember is going to that lake. Um so yeah, we would go down there. All the family would be there. There'd be free snacks, like a whole bunch of chips, some cake, some fattening stuff. But you're a kid, like, you're going to love that stuff. You're in love with it, like candy and stuff. Oh, it was so amazing. I wish I could go back to those days. And, like, there's just all that, plus swimming, and your whole family's there, which is, is it's just so amazing. I can't even, like, talk about it. Like, it's so good. But, so, like, there's, um, this staircase he had, which would lead down to, um, where the lake was. And you had to go downhill. So there's a staircase and then there's a driveway, but the driveway was further off and there's always goose poop on it. So I never want to like go on the driveway, but you have to because in that staircase, there was a whole bunch of beehives, which sucked completely because if the, like there's bees all over that staircase. So um, I was in a rush, you know, I was I want to go back down and swim. So I got done eating. I was like, I'm ready because everyone else is down there swimming already. I'm going. So I am as my stupid kid self. Like, this is when I was really younger. I didn't really think. So, I was so excited to go swimming, I forgot about the bees in itself completely. So, I ran down that staircase. I got stung three times in the foot by bees. Three times, and my foot swelled up. Uh, that was the day I found out I was allergic to bees, too. It was crazy, and it was painful, but my family made it up. Like, they were there. They helped me out, like... I don't know, I couldn't ever, like, thank them again. Like, it's so, it was such a good thing that they were there. So they helped me out, and they made my day a lot better. And they made my birthday a good birthday, even though I got stung by bees. Which is really hard to do. I, um, I appreciate it a lot. I, something I'll always remember, and I will remember that birthday as a good birthday. Not a bad one, because I got stung by bees, and, and now I'm allergic. But just because, like, it was a great day. I mean, I got myself healed up. I was perfectly fine. Nothing was wrong with me afterwards. Yeah, and that was just, it was amazing, so, I was like, I would consider both of those stories, like, in the end, I think it was a better memory, like, than not. Um, it's still, like, we both joke around about it all the time, my, uh, sister and I, my mom and my dad, we joke around about both of those things all the time, especially the bees, my sister always gave me crap for the bees. It was awesome. Just like, I don't know, going back and forth as kids, like as joking, you know, like as friendly joking, not like her getting angry at me and then coming at me with that. No, that wouldn't make sense. But yeah, guys, those are the two stories I was going to tell you today. I would uh, tell you another one, but I don't think I have enough time. There's only a minute left and it doesn't matter because I'm sure I'm going to have another one of these videos up. I bet you guys are going to like this. I, I like it. I did struggle a lot with words in this because I have recorded this like five times now. Sorry about that. I did get interrupted a lot and my mind just got all confused because I've recorded this so many times now. I'm just I got frustrated. Uh it should be fine now though. I think I did good. I did stutter like over my words a couple times, but that's fine. It happens. Um anyways guys, uh I hope you guys enjoyed the Call of Duty clip. Uh it's not the best at all. Really, I didn't do that good, but I'm haven't played Call of Duty in a long time. So I don't think it really matters. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys want to see me like, would you not want to see it if I don't do good? I don't think it really matters. Anyways, guys, if you want to see more Call of Duty, tell me in the comment section below. It's coming up on the end of the video. I hope you all have an amazing day. Thanks for 100 subscribers and peace out.